Hi everyone and welcome to the overview tutorial of the walker tool. What the script does is to make any character walk with just a few clicks and without the need to use any keyframes. So in order to use this tool, you'll need to have a rigged rubber hose based character just like this one with arms, legs and everything connected to the torso. Once you have these things, you're ready to go. So while I'm here in the composition area, I'll go to the walker tool and click on add walker. As you can see, it's created some guide layers here and two of them are selected by default. So what I'm going to do right now is to click and drag the whole thing to this place right here and now I'm gonna work on each element to make it uh, in the right place let's start with the torso we have here the torso control as you can see it's locked but we're gonna need to uh, unlock it for now and I'm gonna move it just a little bit to the bottom I think this is a good place. I usually place it at the lower part of the torso. Uh, it works great. And once you finish uh, making changes to this uh, guide layer, make sure you lock it again. The next thing we need to do is to move each leg to its own guide. So I'm gonna start with this one, the back leg, and I'm gonna try to make it at the center of this guide you can press and hold control on the keyboard it helps to make this uh, foot centered into this uh, square guide just to make things clear I know that this is the character's front leg but I'm speaking of my point of view so since the character is gonna be walking from left to right I'm considering this one as back leg and this one as front leg so I need to move the front leg to its own guide just like this and now all we need to do is to select the following layers in this particular order select the body go all the way to the walker tool and hit rig it now if we do a ramp preview we can see that we have a clean walk now let's take a look at the walker controls where we can find all the parameters that we can change to customize our characters walk the first thing we have here is speed and you can increase or decrease this value to get a faster or a slower walk you can even try a negative number and you'll get a backward walk but what if I want to get a run instead of a walk because even when I increase the speed the character won't run it's just a really fast walk this is where the toward running slider comes in handy so when you increase it you can see that the character is already taking a running position the space between legs also can be useful so basically you keep making adjustments to these three first sliders till you get what you're looking for Something like this let's do a run preview to see our run I'm gonna make it a little bit faster let's let's move on to the next slider where you can change how much you want the torso to be bouncing up and down 
or you can turn this off and the torso will no longer bounce let's now keep it 10 for slight bounce and I'm gonna reset these parameters to get a normal walk I'm going to turn off the toward running and decrease the space between legs to something like this and now double bounce I really like this feature because once you enable it you get this kind of a cool walk where the character is double bouncing at each stride when I disable it it goes back to normal I enable it and once again I have a cool walk let's disable it for now the torso rotation bounce also is a cool feature that when you enable you notice that nothing changes but that's just because the value is set to zero on the next slider so what we need to do here is to increase this value like this and we can already see that the character is leaning back now let's still run preview to see what we have here cool you can also change the torso original rotation to get something like this like an old man walk and you can try a negative value to get something crazy like this finally you can adjust the torso position by clicking and dragging this controller just like this let's see what we have here great for the last slider we we'll see later how it works with three quarter characters but for now let me show you a quick tip about using it with non three quarter angle characters so what we can do here is let me first uh, reset all the parameters so basically if I increase the three quarter angle value and decrease the space between legs a little bit we'll get something like this the character will be walking with one leg at a time let's see how the walker tool works with three quarter characters first I'm gonna add a new walker to this character and set up everything just like I did with the previous one and come back for the rest of the tutorial now that I finished adding my new walker let's do a run preview to see what we have here as you can see the walk is there but something is not right and this is where we need to use the three quarter angle slider here in the walker control you can increase it just like this to get a proper walk and you can of course play with all the different parameters that we've seen before like the space between legs the speed and everything if you want to stop a walk cycle you can easily do that by animating 
the space between legs and torso bounce from their current values to zero. So I'm gonna add the keyframe in space between legs, another keyframe in the torso bounce, move forward in the timeline, and then zero, zero. Let's do a run preview. As you can see, the character just stopped walking. To get a slow motion animation, just like the one in the demonstration video, we'll need to animate the speed. So here in the controls panel, I'm gonna add a new keyframe and make sure it's a hold keyframe. And move forward in the timeline then add another keyframe with a lower with a really lower uh, value like something like five for a slow motion now I have to remember this exact frame and for that I'm gonna take a screenshot so I don't lose it then I'm gonna move this keyframe here and we're gonna look for a similar keyframe to the one that we have here in the screenshot. I guess this one is close. It's good enough. Then I have to move this keyframe just one frame after where the cursor is then hit the run preview key to see what we have here and as you can see we have a cool slow motion animation